the sounds and sights of what this world has to offer can be very enticing in so many ways. We find ourselves trying to understand what we see, what we hear. Put it real nicely in a box. Forgetting that the visuals, the auditory, the sensations we feel through our touch and through the smells of things are actually only a very small part of the true experience we spirit are here to understand to simulate to even base a reality on. Right now I sit here waiting for my coffee to brew, put together some food to eat after the workout, trying to find ways to keep this flesh healthy. You would think that it would be an automatic, that our bodies would not deteriorate the way that they do, that we should be able to feel healthy, look healthy, and be healthy without all the troubles and struggles that we go through. Our emotional well-being, the physicality, the interactions, the unhealthy relationships, we seem to tiptoe through this world. We haven't been able to figure it out yet. Even after all these years, we still struggle with diseases. We still struggle with mental imbalances, with the inability to find true happiness. Why does it have to be so hard? Why do we hurt so deep inside and why do we hurt others? Do you ask yourself these questions? Do you ever ponder on why life is the way that it is? Do you beat yourself up for making wrong, quote unquote, decisions in taking a detour in your life's path? We're constantly being told how horrible we are, being given remedies that really don't work and actually make us feel even worse. Just take a look at some of these commercials on TV promoting a product that's supposed to make your health better, but the side effects are worse than the actual problem. We find ourselves in the grocery stores, crashing our head trying to find out what should I eat? What should I avoid? One minute, carbs are great. The next minute, fats are the bomb. And before you know it, eating animal products is the best thing ever. Everything's keto, gluten-free, fat-free, veganism. Why is it that we have all these answers when yet the answers are never the real solution? Why can we find utopia as a species? So many questions with such confusing answers. What do you think that is? Well, I'm going to give you my two cents and what I believe, or should I say what my higher self believes it is. 
Because I do want you to know that every time I stand in front of this camera, it is not me speaking to you. And I know that may sound crazy to many of you. But as a child, I learned to tap into my higher self. And what that means to you, that's personal. But to me, it is the higher spirit of me that's watching over me, that allows me to learn, to navigate this here realm. And whenever I do not seek his guidance, her guidance, its guidance, whatever, because I truly believe our higher self has no gender, it's energy, energy that flows. But whenever I do not seek its guidance or allow it to speak, I always find myself lost and many times in trouble. My higher self tells me that this is just a platform for growth, that we need to go through all this pain, that we need to go through all this confusion, all these battles, all these insecurities in order to be able to align that energy that flows freely in and out of your body. That this is just a state, a moment, which is really important for your evolution, for the spirit growth of not just yourself, but of the collective. In every experience that we have, good, bad, or indifferent, goes into the collective library that is there for the benefit of all. Because you see, you're not an island. Although many of us believe that it's just me, myself, and I, and everything we do, we do for self-pleasure. But whatever you do affects others in more ways than one. Just like a colony of ants or bees. They have a commonality. They don't work against each other. They work with each other. And I believe that is something that we humans have still not figured out. And I can tell you that there is this one particular force that has created this confusion in all of us and has created the division in all of us. Because just as cancer tries to destroy the host, not realizing that if it kills the host, it too will die or any form of bacteria or virus. This rogue deity, which many of you worship, is the one responsible for this circus that we are seeing before us today. And the reason why we as humans can't get it together, because it's like a virus gone rogue. It has infiltrated the system that is meant to work in harmony but no longer does. So we must try to neutralize, remove, eliminate this rogue deity and not give it the power that it feeds off, it needs. Just read your Bible. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about. It doesn't want you to prosper. It needs your worship. It needs your adoration. Without that, it is nothing. And he will do whatever it takes to achieve that. But you see, his time is limited because we are in a time right now of alignment 
call it a new age, and I know many of you that are believers in your system, look at that word as something horrible because you've been taught to believe that. But we are going through a massive detoxification, cleansing that will remove the gook from your eyes, the veil, and you will no longer be blind, but you will see the truth. There are going to be lots of growing pains during this time, lots of it. But you need to understand how you work and who you are. Eliminate the old programming. flow like the river. Open your heart up so you can receive the messages from your higher self. Stop depending on the five senses that keep you enslaved in this realm. Use them to your advantage. Try to remember your dreams. In your dreams, there are messages being sent by your higher self. But that rogue deity does things to make you forget these messages so that you cannot figure it out, so that you can't solve the puzzle. I have faith in you. You can do it. You really can. Just start to realize what is really important and what is not. Stop numbing yourself with exterior things and allow yourself to truly bathe in the eternal light that you are. All right, guys, I love you. Love is a word that is used incorrectly. When I say I love you, I mean I am sending you the power that you need or allowing you to harvest that energy source that you're made up of. Love is an amazing energy force that we all possess. And as we share this energy force between one another, honoring one another, the God in us, potentially allowing one another to flourish and grow. So allow yourself to flourish and grow and allow yourself to receive that essence, that light, that energy source that you are and you are part of. And things will fall into place. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Love yourselves too.